Hey guys, back again and welcome to the Snagging Breakdown. We're going to go through the shorts that we posted this week and we're going to talk about them. The Snagging Breakdown, let's go. Hey guys, back again. This doorbell is completely loose. Well, that's obvious, isn't it? They just need to reinstall it so it doesn't fall out. Shocking. This French door reveal is 22 millimeters out of 22 plumb. 22 millimeters Look at that. out of plumb. It's massively out. So to fix that, they'd need to replaster the reveal at the top to bring it out. Look at the different colour to the brickwork at this property. It's absolutely shocking. Jesus. How does that get past? So they can uh, stain the brickwork to give it a consistent finish. Here we've got an end cap missing. The cast stone Install seal is cap. damaged. We've got a poorly dressed mastic sealer on. So that mastic seal either needs to be, well, ideally you need to remove the mastic seal and then reseal it. You can try and seal over it, but it's not going to be great. On the French door frame, look at this. The threshold's been... So that threshold's been cut short. You'd have to remove the threshold and install a new one. Simple. Cut short, we got a massive gap, more poorly dressed mastic, and we've got no mastic seal along the movement joint. So because it's difficult to seal there, they need to remove the downpipe and then seal it up. Simple. Shocking. Site manager, are you really happy with this? Because if you are, you gotta go. So either the wall is out there, so it's causing the gallows bracket not to sit correctly. Um, or the canopy is lifting up. Either or, they need to tighten up that gap and finish it correctly. Oh, and what in the yeehaw is going on with this? You're happy with that, are you? You're happy Here you with go. That, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, simple, uh, well, render and rough cast uh, repair. Congratulations, it's ridiculous. ridiculous. Hey guys, we start off today back at Shrek Swamp. It's good to see they've got some good drainage along the garden. <laughs> good drainage. Um, yeah, they need better drainage. Uh, it looks like their topsoil is quite compacted, so they would need to possibly rotivate it and um, install some drainage. We've got some poor finishing. So we can see we've got an end cap missing. Um, it looks like the opening's been constructed too wide for the door frame. Um, possibly a lot of work here. Um, the size of that cover trim is just way too big. Shocking finish, really. It's around this front door. We've got a big gap. The end cap's missing and the cover trim along. So they've put a cover trim along the top of the uh, door frame. And they've constructed it out of two separate pieces. That should be one piece. Um, shocking. The top has been made out of two pieces. Shocking. This hand basin waste pipe is leaking, but you do gain the advantage of getting a pond underneath. That just needs I mean, to be that's fixed. a win, right? Can anyone see and guess what's wrong with this window? Let me tell you. Yep. It's seven Massive millimeters deal. out of plumb. How is that signed off? It so they need to remove the window frame and install it properly. Simple as it. It's going to affect the inside. You're going to have to replaster board. Um, well, replaster, replaster board the uh, reveals on the inside, and they're going to have to reseal it on the outside. It's easy to see. It's shocking. And what in the absolute ye has going on with these handrail joints? I hate this. Why have we got mastic seals around every? So we should not see mastic seals around the uh, joints on the handrails. It's shocking. I, I assume that they've done it to, um, when you get shrinkage, you're going to get some gaps, right? So they've done that to maybe uh, stop the issue of seeing gaps, but you shouldn't have to do that. The, the timbers should be dry enough. Um, it's a shocking finish. I absolutely Are hate it. Are the joiners and calm? Is not good enough for cutting them into the new post? Honestly, I bet there's some joiners out there absolutely it's cringing horrific. watching this. Hey guys, back again. So this timber threshold is completely loose. <laughs> I'm guessing that wasn't inspected. Great. So that needs screwing down, obviously. Good job. This shower's got the self-closing door upgrade. I'm guessing that wasn't inspected. So I would assume that that uh, shower, well, shower framework and the shower tray, possibly, has been installed out of plumb or out of level, and it's causing the door to close. Um, it needs plumbing up. We've got a cracked tile inside the shower too. How that has that been missed? Be so was this area inspected or was it missed? To seal or that. are you happy with They've it? Cut the if tile you're happy wrong. with it, you gotta go. This one's a little bit different, not really a snag. But why have we got a doorbell at the back <laughs> of the property? Is it so the yes. dog could ask to be let in? This uh, why have we got a doorbell at the back? No idea. How can they... Well, like I say in the video, it's not really a snag. It's just very strange. This hand basin is cracked. Nicholas. Was that inspected or were you hoping no one would know? So the hand basin is cracked. Um, you could try and repair it, but 
I don't think that's gonna work. They need to replace it. Now here is one of the worst repair jobs I've ever seen to a door in my life. Jesus. Look at the state of this wax repair. Now replace the door. Just replace the door. Why are you trying to fix it with this absolutely shocking finish? Change the door. Expected after, or was it missed? Because how did you miss it? And if you're happy with it, you need to go. Now what in the go. yeehaw is going on with this balustrade? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's just been plonked onto the side of the new. So that balustrade should have um, like a return miter. It should be mitered into the new post uh, with a separate piece, not just cut off and planted on the end. Shocking. Steel post, not mitered into it. Shocking. And what's going on behind this toilet? Really you poor happy patching. With that, are you? Hey guys, this is one of the most stupidest issues I've ever seen in my life. Look I at this. this. Let's try and hook up the gate. Ah. So this tells me that the guy who installed this latch never tested it. It's it's shocking. They need to position it in a place uh, which works. Wait a minute. I Ideally on the uh, brickwork on the garage. I can't reach it. I mean, I'm literally losing brain cells snagging this. Like, how did you not check that? Also, the gate latch is damaged. Now, what Just are the yeehaws going on with this garage light bulb? Let's have a look. Ah, I see. <laughs> You've got to buy the glass separately, do you? You've got to buy the glass separately, do you? Let's read it just for the bants. I almost said grass. Uh, not dimmable. Well, you don't say, because there's no bloody light for it to dim. More importantly, how did this garage get signed off? There's not one wall plate strap installed to anchor down the roof. So wall plate straps are there um, to anchor down the roof, like I say. Um, they get installed onto the wall plate, and then the strap runs down the brickwork, gets screwed into the wall plate, and it gets screwed into the brickwork. That's there to basically anchor down the roof. So if there is... So all they need to do is install them. It's a massive hurricane or tornado. Good luck. And who did the mastic seal along these French Jesus. doors? Look at this. Did you put it on with your face, did you? Look at that. That is absolutely shocking. That just needs all cleaning off and sealing properly. Why continue with a bad job when you can clearly see it's a bad job? That finish is absolutely shocking. <laughs> Jesus, boys. Hey guys, so we got 12 millimeter deviation to this garage go. brickwork, so this brickwork will have to be knocked out. So, I say in the video, this brickwork will have to be knocked down. So, if the client wants it to be right, then it would need knocking down that brickwork. Um, the tolerance on that property would have been 8 millimeters, and it's 12 millimeters. Um, I say when someone comes to buy a house and they see that that brickwork's out, they're going to probably try and knock some money off. Um, when they try and buy your house off you. So, I don't know. It's not great. It's over tolerance. The developers are bound by the warranty provider to um, build, a to build a house to tolerance. So, uh, if it's not to tolerance, knock it down. I'm sorry. Down and rebuilt. Look at this. Same on the other side. Look at that. And it was clearly Shocking. visible at the top. This internal well. wall is 14 millimeters out of plumb. Look at that. Massively out. We so how you fix that is, like I said before, you would plaster the wall to um, bring it into tolerance. We've got an absolutely shocking finish under this kitchen unit. Look at that. So they need to replace the end panel. What in the yeehaw are these guys doing? This fire door is non-compliant as we've got incorrect margins all the way around the door. So the gaps around the fire door should be uh, between two millimeters and four millimeters, not over four millimeters. If the gap is too wide, uh, the intermittent strip around the door lining uh, will not seal properly to the door if there's a fire. Who's the Winkle Spanner that's installed this then? Come on, show yourself. And how the hell has this property been handed Shocking. over in this condition? Basically, what I'm saying here is the stairs are covered in glue. It should have been cleaned off. So all they need to do is clean off the glue. And it gives a, such a better um, appearance to the stairs. It's just, I can't believe they leave it like this. It's shocking. Look at the state of the finish along the stairs. We've got excess foam everywhere. The paintwork's all over the shop. Have some pride in your work, man. What are you doing? Paint touch -ups. Hey guys, Simple. back again. And these are the fakest looking weep vents I've ever seen in my life. Let's pull go. them out. Here we go. Number one. Number one. And number two. This one's a little bit tougher to get out. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on. You can do it. Pull him out. Here we go. That's Oof. the boy. She's stiff. Come on. There we go. Abs so, they install fake wheat vents because they forgot to install them properly in the beginning. Um, so, to get the house passed and signed off, um, you should have wheat vents in lots of different areas. 
And when you forget them, what they do is they dig a little bit of mortar out, they cut a wheat vent down, and they push it into the hole that they've dug out, and just to give the appearance that they've been installed correctly. Um, basically just to scam the inspector. It's shocking. Absolutely shocking. And how would you like your toilet, sir? I'd like it really loose, please. And how would you like <laughs> your WC properly. bathroom finished, sir? I want the Titanic as it's sinking finished, please. <laughs> Cue the people in the comments saying, it's not a finish, it's a leak. Obviously it's a leak, I know. So they need to um, investigate uh, the leak, see what's causing it, and repair any damage that's been caused. Oh, and check out this finish under the bath. That is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. So they need to uh, re-plasterboard where the plasterboard's missing and seal the gaps in the floor. So then, guys, that's all we had this week. Hope you enjoyed. Hope that was a bit more uh, informative for you. And we'll be doing this more regularly. So see you next time on the Snagging Breakdown.